In this video, we leave a shark infested Highborn Key Marina and sail down the Exuma Island chain to the beautiful waters of Staniel Key. It's a pretty iconic place filled with even more sharks. We had spent the night on the dock at Highborn Key on the northern end of the Exuma Island chain. I wanted to come yesterday, but you were busy working. You know what? They need food. Yeah, you go. <laughs> so the reason they all hang out here is because people clean their fish right here. I'm not sure if you like splash. This world that was my surrounding. My heart screams. So it is kind of an expensive marina, but they do have all this stuff like these little cabanas you can do and they have bicycles you can take. So if you want to just hang out, you can. Oh really? That's not what I just said two seconds yeah, ago. Well, you know. <laughs> but it, yeah, it is nice, but you know, it's expensive. So they let them roam free? Yeah, of course. Land. So there's a parrot around here somewhere. I guess he gets to roam free. That's kind of cool. There's still a long way to go. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, I don't want to leave though. It's so beautiful. Yeah, here. it's pretty, but it's too expensive to stay here. <laughs> uh, so Sarah's feeling a little uh, under the weather today, so it's just us. Well, doing stuff anyway. But uh, so we are going to get off the dock here. So we had the lines like looped around uh, the pole and then tied onto the to the cleats here. So what we did is we uh, went ahead and changed that out. So that line is no longer like looped around that pole. It's uh, tied on, so it's tied on both places, and then the dock worker can let us go over there. So then we need to undo our spring lines, and we got it, the same thing with that pole over there. Kind of back up a little, use the bow thruster to bow us out, and you'll fend off the dock yep. right there. So time to start the engines and get going. Let's do it. Nice spot. I forgot to turn the camera on uh, before we got off dock, but no problems there. I don't know if you caught a little bit of it, but uh, yeah, piece of cake. Uh, but nice spot. It's too bad. It's so it's six dollars a foot during high season right now. So that'd be six times four, like right? two hundred forty bucks just for the boat, and then they charge fifty dollars for power. Then they fifty cents per uh, yep. gallon of water. So it ends up it's pretty expensive to stay here. That's why it's just one night, you know. So, but sometimes it is nice to be in a marina. It really is amazing just how beautiful the water is down in the Exumas. It's some of the prettiest water in the world. We turn south downwind and raise the sails. It was about a 40 mile run down the Exuma Island chain to Staniel Key. Pretty nice, uh, eight knots. There's like 20 knots of breeze out here, but uh... A parent's about 18. I've got one reef in the main, and then uh, uh, the Geno is probably 75% out. So, you know, we could be going a little faster, but we're going to turn across the wind in a little bit, so it'll be a little bit more apparent wind. So, just kind of getting set for that. But hey, sailing in conditions like this when it's nice and smooth, I mean, because normally in 20 knots, the seas would be up pretty good. But, you know, you're in the lee of these islands over here, so it's nice, really. It's pretty nice. That's why the Exumas is some of the best places to sail. It's pretty cool. You can't argue about the beautiful water of the Bahamas, and it's such an easy place to get to from the east coast of the United States. It makes it a really popular cruising ground. Our Neil 43 Trimaran from Performance Yacht Sales is the perfect boat to sail around the Bahamas. It's fast and a shallow draft. It doesn't get much better. Check out PYachtSales.com for more information. How's your studying? It's going well. It's actually pretty calm. It's nice compared to the last few days. We've 
yeah. out of sailing. It's been a bit of, yeah, it's nice out here now. I mean, it's, you know, when you're in the lee of the island, you've got like one foot waves out there. Yeah. And uh, we had to go around this sandy spit up here, otherwise, like, we'd be closer in. So we're kind of headed back in closer to shore now. But uh, yeah, I'm telling you, this thing's fast. We're doing like nine knots. Oh, are we? Yeah, eight and a half, nine knots. I mean, so it turns a seven and a half hour day into less than five hours on this thing. So pretty cool. I know. It's, yeah. I feel it. It's so nice, though. I mean, it's smooth and... Yeah. Pretty cool. It. Really enjoy sailing this boat. It's easy to sail, too. Do you have sunblock on? I do. I have sunblock on. I put some on. Always wear sunblock. Yeah, yeah. Should, should have pulled out the camera uh, when they were doing it, but we just passed a boat, and they called us on the radio wanting to know how fast we're going. Because, you know, <laughs> we're doing nine knots. And they're like, man, you guys are ripping. They just wanted to, you know... They're like, we're jealous. Yeah. So... Pretty cool. We should have, we should have filmed that conversation. I didn't but. know something bad was happening, you know. Yeah. So someone called on the radio for a trime rant. We're the only trime rant out here, yeah. so. Pretty soon it was time to pull down the sails and motor into Staniel Key. did that with one of your uh check out San uh flying doodles and you can see bobby go on one of those boats yeah, probably dropping somebody off for one of those super yachts over there must be nice yeah all right so we're coming up to staniel key uh it's kind of a little shallow sandbar here in a minute so we'll go slow uh but it should be five and a half plus feet plus we have another uh third of a foot for the tide so we'll see how it goes but then uh, we're gonna go try to anchor somewhat close to the yacht club which is not always easy to do um, because uh, around here over in big majors is where most people anchor but with this dinghy I mean, it's a nice dinghy the high field it's a great dinghy it's just only got a six horsepower on it so it'd be really slow trying to get over there we're trying to anchor close so we're over that like little sandbar now and we still got eight feet of water total, so it says six on the chart. So right, that's what it always, you know, just down here the, the sandbar shift and all that, so you never know exactly what's going to happen and how long ago that reading was taken, you know. So uh, just obviously we slowed down a little just to make sure, but I think it's not a big deal. Yeah, two feet below us right now. Only one foot now. It is low tide, but damn, that's shallow. The current can rip through there at two to three knots, which can make anchoring a little tricky as it switches directions. So in the last few years, the Yacht Club installed mooring balls. They're $40 a night. going into Staniel Key Yacht Club. It is iconic, a place that you have to visit when you're here in the Exuma's going to happy hour. It might be a bit of a madhouse. We've had, already said, met several people at the, that were coming back from happy hour uh, stopping by the boats. So. It was less than a two minute dinghy ride from our mooring over to the Yacht Club. They have a nice little dinghy lagoon that makes it easy for cruisers to come on shore. It seems like all the marinas in the Bahamas are full of nurse sharks. They are generally pretty docile though. That's probably a six-year-old girl and they're playing with them. The Yacht Club was started in 1956. They've added on a lot over the years, but it's kind of cool to see the original bar there.
to go to the toilet. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? On that note, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, please get that like and subscribe button. And did you know like like only 20% of you guys are actually subscribed? So if you enjoy the videos, just click the button. What happened? You don't know what happened? I guess you're going to have to find out in the next episode. Yeah, find out in the next episode what happened. I don't know what happened either. I'm going to find out too. Because yeah. no, seriously, what happened? Nothing happened. I mean, uh, everything happened. Find out in the next episode. Like and I'll subscribe so you find out. <laughs> And on this next episode, she's going to go in the toilet <laughs> and see. You want to see that? I mean, leave a comment down below. No. Thank you to Performance Yacht Sales for supplying this really fun to sail boat. You can check them out at pyachtsales.com. And thank you to our patrons for making this channel possible. They get early access to the video and behind the scene pictures and videos.